Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here, and I am back for more Final Fantasy XIII. And in today's episode, we are going through this new, brand new area, which I named in the last episode. I cannot for the life of me remember what it was called. Um, but we're going to, first of all, just take a quick look at our grids, because we do have a bit of CP piled up now, and I figured we might as well at least start spending some of it at least but this area will allow us to start um, gaining a bit more now so we should be able to actually finally max out the next bit of the grids and become a bit powerfuler and we've now unlocked a move called launch as well <clears throat> so when you stagger an enemy the launch ability launches them up into the air and it slows down how quickly the stagger gauge goes back down again once they are staggered Quite a hefty little ability to have. I'm also going to go ahead and take this one back off, and I'm going to put my power bangle, uh, power wristband back on. And I might just go ahead and upgrade that actually. Also, what else do I have access to? I might give that to him for now since I don't have access to what I was hoping to get access to unless I can buy it from the shop. <clears throat> Let me have a quick look. Nope, that's weapons. Oh, get off. What's this one? Oh no, I do have access to it. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and purchase that then. And then I'm going to go ahead and do some more upgrades. Let's start with the power. Wait, is that, was that the power wristband or was that... Is it a power circle I've got equipped in? No, that can't be right. Oh no, wait, that's weapons, that's why. I'm looking at the wrong one. What a complete pillock. Here we go. Uh. Hmm. Okay, maybe I do need a bit more then. Bomb ashes are better off being sold for a bit of money, if I'm honest. There we go, that's that one maxed out. And then we're going to have a look at the Magician's one here. I don't think I'm going to be able to max this one out though, unfortunately. But I can at least upgrade it a little. If nothing else. leave it at that for now. That should make our team at least a little bit more powerful anyway. So I'll go ahead and do away with this and pop that one on. <coughs> Alright, we are ready to move into battle as it were. And it looks like our first battle is against these new enemies which is the leeches, the Don't frag leeches. Back. As you can see, with our upgrades, we're a bit powerful now, and we're, we're ripping our enemies apart nice and quick, Just which is rather battle. handy. So it's made a hell of a difference putting those on. I think we'll smash our way through here, actually. That's really helpful. <clears throat> we can use the lights as a guide to keep us moving in the right direction. Preempt. We've got ourselves a uh, 
drops it as well. Dextron. Surprised we're still running into those. I didn't think we'd still be running into them at this late stage, but I guess there's still the odd one left. Which is a bit irritating. I'd rather not be facing off against them because they don't really give off that much experience. But I suppose it is what it is. <coughs> been here before on duty I mean no no I haven't this area is covered by the Woodlands Observation Battalion you scared uh, not really I'm ready to fight if I have to to keep you safe uh, I'll want it back Lightning. I'm glad I followed you. By myself, I would have had no chance. Oh, I don't think that's quite true. <clears throat> Trust me to cover your tail and stay focused on moving forward. I Preempt. Wow, we cut them down so fast. I would have thought these small little upgrades would make such a difference. Jump through my head. Get back here. Gonna need a few blitzes in here, I think. enemy coming up here.
Gracious me, that did some damage. Damn it! You had to go and target my party I'm leader, sorry. didn't you? I can't do this. You can do it, I hope. We just unfortunately got sucker punched. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna pause the recording while I deal with these and I'll be right back. Alright, oh, that's them taken out. It took a little bit longer than I had actually intended, and I did get game over it again, but I had technical issues as well in the background. Unfortunately, my video capture software did screw up on me a little bit there for a moment, but I managed to resolve it. Luckily, I managed to resolve it also without actually having to affect this recording, so I'm happy about that. Not happy about being sabotaged by my own equipment, mind you, but we got there. <laughs> anyway, forging ahead, let's go. got ourselves a behemoth to deal with. Let's go ahead and spend some points here. Well that's almost his Ravager done. So we're off to a great start so far I'd say. And that's almost her commando done. So all in all, I'd say we're making some pretty darn good progress. Now this big fella, we're going to wait for him to turn his big ass b uh, back round. Because then we can sneak up on him and we can basically take him out straight away. No fuss, no muss. We can't lose here. There we go. Keep him up in the air and the stagger gauge will go down a lot slower. There we go. That's the end of him. Really? We only got 36 points for that? That's a bit crap. Oh well. I guess the game wants to be stingy. No matter. We'll be getting some decent experience once we get down below. Got to get down there first. What is it? We need to hide. They don't seem like they're even looking for us. I mean, we're La Cie and we're on the loose. Psycom's keeping it all under wraps. They don't want their failure publicized. 
Better to lose us than lose their pride. So the other soldiers don't know about us, right? Right. They don't know anything about any fugitives. <laughs> Basically, if they got asked, it's a... I don't have a clue what you're talking about. I don't know. I don't know anything about any fugitives. Six of them. No holding back. him I think just purely because he's so worthless in CP it's just not even worth the fight Hawkeye. I believe that is a weapon for hope. Which actually we're going to go ahead and equip because it's actually better than what we've got magic wise. And since hope is mainly magic based, magic based weapons are probably the best thing for him. I know I am playing a bit dangerously as well, letting my health bar go so low, but... Um, 
I'm sort of using my best judgement and sort of judging that I can just about get away with it. Nah, I'm alright guys, I'd rather not fight you because the amount of experience I will get from you is pittance. There's literally zero point in facing you. the others are doing. Saz and Vanille? Who knows? Who knows? Even, if they, Even if they got away, they'll get caught eventually. Then they'll have to choose. Have to choose. Resist. 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 Or surrender. Or surrender. surrender. Huh. Do you think he's Do you still think alive? He's You mean Snow? He's too stubborn to die. And that's his best quality. He's arrogant and chummy from the get-go. He thinks he's everybody's pal. Never liked him much. He leads around a bunch of kids. Gang called Nora. Where'd they get the name Nora? It's a stupid acronym. Their little code stands for no obligations, rules, or authority. Must be nice. It's irresponsible. Hmm. Hope's still holding on to a lot of anger. Okay, now we're into the high security area. There are a lot of feral creatures here too. Stuff that they really they don't want familiar. getting out. This is an army facility for turning wildlife into weapons. Civilians aren't allowed in here, are they? We'll have to be sure and tell them if we see any. quicker than I anticipated. <laughs> Interesting indeed. I wasn't sure how quickly I'd be able to drop them. I knew they were going to be quite strong. I just wasn't quite sure as to how my team would match up against them just yet. Doing quite well so far with our tactics. We don't need to try anything else, Hope. I think we've got it just right. Alright, that drops the barrier so that we can get through into the next area.
Okay, we got this. We got this. Stay in this stance now till we've taken this one out. Oh uh, yeah, should have pointed out these guys they do like to play with their poison as it were. Damn it. Wasn't quite fast enough. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Ooh. There we go, we got him, we got him. Not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous there as to whether or not we'd actually be able to drop all three of them. I wasn't sure if I was biting off more than I could chew, but it would appear that I managed it just about. So, you know, all good. So to an end and a, it's been a short nothing. while I think because we're about 28 minutes so and we do have a lot of ground still to cover I'm just sort of using this last bit of the episode to show you guys how you can sort of wipe this lot out and, and grind for experience at the same time Is the next save point mm, that far away? I can't actually see it on the map. And we've got a cutscene coming up as well. Okay. Well, I'm recording these episodes back to back right now, anyway. So we'll call it here for this episode, and I'll be back with the next episode short. Well, for me, it'll be shortly. For you lot, obviously, then you know. Uh, but yeah, so if you've liked what you've seen, then smash the like button, be subscribed to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next episode, where we'll continue working our way through here. Um, the slugs that are in front of me there, I'll go and take them out as well off camera, to save a bit of time. And yeah, I will see you all in the next episode. Take care, folks.